Olivia Penaloza, Jasmine born Estrada. May 19th, born Diana, Melissa Penaloza, date of death, June 3rd, 2019. She tragically lost her life today. Cause of death, drunk driving. Hey, what's up, bro? Just one or two, huh? Yeah. So as we're coming up here, we have the truck. It doesn't look like they made it. They're dead. Okay, sit here for right now. So as we're coming up here, we have the truck. Hey guys, what do you got? Five. What do you got? 15 year old female. She's a passenger in motor vehicle. Well, the traffic collision. Low blood pressure. No pulse. No pulse. Is that different pulse here? No pulse. Nelson, go ahead and start CPR. I'm going to go ahead and intubate her, okay? The paddle. Everything, everybody clear? Clear. Okay, clear. 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 No pulse, continue CPR. Pull up some amiodarone and go ahead and get ready to get a new shot. Continue CPR. We're flat, we're flat line. Time of death, 1230. Okay, go ahead and stop CPR. Parents are here? Okay, I'll go talk to the family. Thank you. daughter was in a car accident with everything that we've got we were not able to save her and I'm really sorry okay <laughs> what I'd like to do is you know take you up let you take a look at her tried our very very best but sometimes it's out of our hands and it's in God's hands okay Can I yes please why don't you come with me and then we'll get you all the help and stuff you need all the services you know she'll have some of the equipment that we were using to try to save her Can we get the social worker?
My hands are trembling. I feel as if my heart will no longer beat. In any moment, I wish it was me and not you who have passed. Now all that is left is my memory of you. I can't take it anymore. Why can't you take me with you? They not only destroyed your life, but also mine. I love you with all my heart. Love always, Mom. Mom, all I could say is that I'm truly sorry. I don't know what I was thinking going in that car with my friends while they were under the influence. You were always there when I needed you. You were always the shoulder I could cry on whenever I fell down. Mom, I don't want you to be sad or hold a grudge against the person who killed me. It was just a mistake. I wish this could have just been a terrible nightmare. That way I could wake up and tell you everything, how I felt, how much I admire you, or just to tell you that I love you. I can't believe you're not here with us anymore. You were my youngest son. You were my baby. I'm going to miss everything. Every night, you giving me a kiss in my forehead. Every time you leave or before you go to bed. Every 15 minutes, someone dies in a drunk driving crash. Today, I died. I just wanted you to know that you are the most beautifulest woman on earth. I thank you for always being there for me when I needed you. And you are the best mother anyone can ask for. Saturday morning, 4 a.m. to be exact. Waking up, looking at your bed, wondering where you're at. On the road, ready to enjoy this family trip. Riding the quad should be fun. I better get a grip. Stopping at the rest area as if God already knew getting a phone call that was all about you. Probably the worst news a father, mother, brother can hear. Please, please brother, be okay. Why do you have to drink the beer? I thank God we're blessed with parents like ours. They are always by our side when we needed them. And this is the time when you needed them the most. You were in the hospital for four months. Mom was in the hospital for four months too. Always by your side, night and day, doing everything she can do.
And like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing has to be reminded, reality, we all got to face it. There's, time, there's a time in one life that parents tell us this and that, and sometimes we just ignore it because our friends say this, that, this is fun, it's a thing to do because everyone is doing it. No, nah, do what you need to do. Do what's important for you. It can happen to any of us. Anyone here. It happened to me. I came to Norwalk. Class of 09, graduated. Some of you may not know me. Some of you know me. Yeah, the college, university to go to. I had things to do. I had plans ahead of me. And look what happened. Plan the future. Plan what you should be doing. School, college, friends. Believe it or not, that, that weekend, when the accident happened to me, that following Monday, I was supposed to be off to school, off to university. I was supposed to be long gone already, but what happened? Well, I went out that night, having the feeling, oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to drink. 
That's not me, but eventually, you know, I drank, drank, shouldn't be drinking in the first place. There's an age limit for a reason. Shouldn't be doing none of that. Did that, had no idea what happened, woke up in the hospital. I already knew it. Woke up to see my family in tears, brothers crying. You don't want to see that. I was in the exact same spot you guys are in. Don't think that it can't happen to you. Prevent that from happening. You don't want to be a part of a situation like that. You really don't. It's not the thing to do. What's important is your future. I was hanging around the wrong people. The type of people where once I got in an accident, bam, they shook. They're gone. They're not here anymore helping me out. I have friends where I hang out with the people now where I didn't hang out in high school. Don't be like me, not paying attention. Oh, it can't happen to me. Don't be like that. Surround yourself with good people. Remember what's important. Stay focused. Don't be going off doing nonsense. Because then you'll be left off not being able to do anything. Once high school is over, it's going to hit you. Be ready for it. My name is Miguel Rivera. I'll talk to you guys later.